Hey, what's going on guys? It's Hawksnest here, back with another COD Mobile video. Now, in today's video, we're actually going to be talking about a glitch that is in the game. That actually relates to the AK-47. As well as actually just kind of showing you the new AK-47 and what its capabilities are. But I do want to talk about the glitch before we actually kind of look at the new AK-47. So, the glitch is very simple and I want to let you guys know exactly what that is. I know a lot of people have actually been discussing it here and there. But they didn't quite know exactly what was going on. And I just wanted to let you guys know what it is and how you can avoid it because it's not a good glitch. Okay, so basically what the glitch is, is that some of the AK-47s are like the old AK. So, if you didn't know in Season 3... The AK-47's recoil was buffed, so now the gun actually has better recoil. But for whatever reason, some of the AK-47's actually were not affected, and I'm going to tell you guys what AK-47's those were, so that you guys cannot use that until it's fixed. So once again, if I did make myself clear, basically, there's AK-47's that are just like Season 2, and there's the new AK-47's that are actually good and have better recoil. And if you're wondering how good the recoil is, I will actually show you right now. So as you can tell on the far left, you can see the brand new AK-47 recoil pattern. The light gray uh, recoil in the back is the recoil without a grip. And then the white recoil in the front is the recoil with a grip. And then the other recoils you're going to be looking at, the ones on the right are the season two recoil. And then the season three recoil of the AK-47s that don't actually, they didn't get fixed. And as you can tell, season two and season three recoils on the right are the exact same. So, as you can tell, they definitely made the recoil a lot better in Season 3 on the specific AK-47s that are actually working. I actually made an entire guide video showing how to properly use the AK-47 because the gun requires a certain method of playing to actually make it be the best that it can possibly be. If you guys want to watch that video right after this one, it will be linked down below. I highly recommend watching it if you want to up your game. And I actually made that video when the recoil was bad, so now that the recoil is even better, the technique that I tell you guys to use inside that that video is going to be like it's going to be lights out super super good if you're wondering how the new ak-47 recoil compares to the season 2 type 25 and ak-117 i'll put that on the screen right now so you guys can actually see kind of how it compares and as you can tell the new ak-47 definitely still has more recoil than the type 25 and the ak-117 but not that much more and again keep in mind the ak-117 and type 25 recoils that you're looking at was season 2 i haven't tested season 3 yet but i will be doing that within the next few days and making a video talking about that stuff so make sure to drop a sub if you want to see that video very soon so with all that being said now you guys have an understanding of the differences between the the ak-47s that actually work versus the ones that don't so now let's go ahead and explain what ak-47s are the right ones to use so if we go ahead and sort by assault rifle the ak-47s that don't actually work and they have very bad recoil still they haven't been fixed yet are the ak-47 red action i'm almost positive the ak-47 halloween edition is also bad but i don't have it to test but because they're both purple assault rifles so pretty sure but the ak-47 red action i am 100 percent positive has bad recoil and then if we scroll all the way down the base ak-47 so this gray one also has bad recoil any other ak-47 that i've tested has the good recoil so this includes the ak-47s like the jingle bells um the jack frost and most popularly the ak-47 glacier which you can actually still get because the battle pass hasn't reset yet so if you haven't finished your battle pass i would recommend finishing it so that you're able to get the uh, ak-47 skin wherever it is i kind of forgot where it is in here but yeah it only requires you to be tier 10 to actually get this ak-47 so more than likely you guys have it if you don't i would highly recommend going and getting it so that you actually have an ak-47 that performs the right way Hopefully Call of Duty Mobile actually sees this video and fixes this problem because obviously all the AK-47 should be the exact same and especially the AK-47 that's like a higher tier should definitely be the exact same as the other ones, which was this. I don't know why I pressed on the DLQ. But yeah, so once again, highly recommend watching my guide video to kind of learn how to use this weapon properly as it does require a certain technique. Uh, I do recommend putting a grip on it still, especially considering if you're using the technique that I explained in the AK-47 video, you have to be as accurate as possible. At the moment, this would probably be the best AK-47 class that you could use. At least this is the one that I would personally use. I actually do a fast mag instead of a extended mag because it doesn't shoot very fast. So you don't need an extended mag. But yeah, so obviously the attachments don't look great on the Glacier version. That doesn't actually like have that same icy effect. But regardless, this is the class that I would recommend at the moment until they at least fix the other AK-47s. Before I actually head out, I do want to give a big thank you to our channel members, which include Dopey Gaming as a mega fan, Fort Chugjag as a mega fan, MGC Gaming as an elite fan, and 
PUBG Master 327 as a mega fan, and then finally CBK Esports and Red Zero also as ultimate fans. So if you guys want to join the channel and support me, you can see how to do that on the screen right now. And with that being said, I will see you guys later. Peace.